Hello everyone, my name is Mitesh Pradara and I am a PhD student. So before moving forward, let me tell you a story about how my PhD started. So there was a small village surrounded by beautiful mountains and snow on top of those mountains and a beautiful fjord right in front of the village. But one day that village got destroyed suddenly. Why? Because it rained a lot on those mountains and the flood water was so bad that the power lines and underground cables were destroyed. Roads and bridges were broken, leaving huge gaps in the landscape making it even more difficult for the rescue team to reach the village. Many people lost their houses and one of them was my supervisor. And that's how my PhD started on flash floods. Flash floods are the floods which come suddenly and without any warning. Do you know that 90% of the natural hazards are water related? And floods are third largest hazard causing human losses after drought and storm, and second largest causing economical losses. And these numbers are going to increase in the future because of the climate change and global warming. So the focus of my PhD is to find out those areas which are most prone to flooding and can be dangerous for living. And to do that, I integrate two kinds of models. What does these models do and why do I integrate them? So the first kind of models tells us the quantity of water and how quickly that water reaches at a point after it rains somewhere. And the second kind of model, those tells us how this water is spread and the depth of that water. I integrate them because first, it is more uh, time efficient. Instead of running these models separately and then combining them. Second reason is that I get more accurate results because of the seamless connection between these two models. So the results from my study looks something like this. These are the areas which are flooded with the corresponding water depths. So if we have these kind of maps for everywhere in the world, we can save lots of people's lives and their property. And many houses can be prevented to get destroyed, unlike my supervisor's house. Thank you so much for listening and your attention.